Okay, I've been spending quite a bit of time. I caved in and I've added loop. Um, so let me just show some of this stuff here. Just load the sound in. Vitamins, minerals, very high. My good old vitamins, minerals, cucumber thing. Anyway, so you've got a bunch of different modes. Uh, one is one shot. So that allows you to just choose your start and end point. And if I just tap a MIDI key, vitamins, min it's going to play um, whatever I've got selected, even though I didn't hold the, the, the key down. Um, you can apply the fade on the end. Vitamins, me. Vitamins, me. Vitamins, me. So you know it's going to get hit all the time. Um, so that's that mode. There's forward looping. Of course, to do this, I need to have uh, some loops on. So what I'll do is have my start there and the loop a little later. So that's uh, that's forward looping. Uh, play then loop backwards is going to play at the beginning. It's going to hit this point and then just go bling 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 over and over again. So that's kind of a, a different mode than what most uh, music type samplers have. Backwards looping is just going to take go from the end to uh, well the, the loop end to the loop start. And forward backwards is going to go from the start uh, to the end point and then to the, the loop start point and then the end point and back and forth again. So that's all pretty cool. Um, now what I've just added, I'm not sure how it's all going to work out, but I think it's pretty cool. So the LFO now, you can get it to, uh, say, modulate your loop start point. Obviously that's way too big of a range. So I'll just really narrow it down here. I could change the frequency of it. I'll make it really fast. So now, so you're just going to get a random sort of loop each time. So that's that's kind of fun. Um, and then there's also pitch as well. So I have to change this. So this is um, totally different than the regular tuning pitch. So what the tuning pitch does, I should probably turn this off. Um, you know, you've got your allows you to just tune the actual sample based on octave, semitone, sense, and all that stuff, as well as like what the keyboard tracking does. But when you use the um, LFO, and there, I guess there is, isn't much point in using envelope one to go to pitch because you would just use this. Um, anyway, I'm getting distracted here. So I'll assign it to pitch. I'll have the full range. I'll slow it down so we can hear what's going on. And now when I just hit middle C, <laughs> So this current LFO then is, is modulating um, the pitch. So obviously if I didn't want, it's all centered around zero. So if I just wanted a little bit. And of course I got the speed. So I think that's pretty cool, isn't it? So the only thing is it needs to have like a, a separate knob somewhere that actually shows you what this additional pitch modulation is doing. Um, so you could kind of do the same thing just using the modulation wheel and you would just manually move it. But the nice thing, of course, about uh, the LFOs is not only is there presets, so sawtooth. But you can draw in whatever shape you want to have this LFO do crazy stuff.